Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. Welcome to this episode of Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. I'm Nikki Shields. And I'm Jonathan Tilley. And today on the podcast, we are diving into the world of ultra wideband technology. Now, this is the next big thing that's coming to your smartphone, or <laughs> you never know, even to your car. But uh, you know, for the podcast listeners who have no clue what we're talking about, like what is ultra wideband? How does it work? And, you know, even if you don't know what ultra wideband is, you may be wondering, what is it going to mean for you and for your car? And ultimately, how it helps launch the BMW Digital Key Plus. So, tons of questions, Nikki. Let's go step by step through each one. So, Nikki, tell our podcast listeners what is ultra wideband technology or UWB for short. Okay, well, simply put, ultra wideband is basically a short range wireless communication protocol that uses radio waves, just like Bluetooth or Wi Fi. Got it. It does it much better. <laughs> it really is the next big thing. Um, because UWB has much better accuracy. It has this incredible positioning capability and also radio frequency security. So that's what we're particularly excited about. Basically, ultra wideband really improves both the application possibilities and the security levels from sort of similar radio technologies that already exist. Now, interestingly, although I said that this was the next big thing, the technology used in ultra wideband isn't actually new. It's actually been used um, mostly for advanced medical devices and other professional use previously. However, we get to benefit from this in the motoring world, um, in our cars, because thanks to its recent addition to regular everyday devices like mobile mm. phones and cars, it's much more widely available for us, the consumer, um, which is brilliant because the reason that we would benefit as a car owner is because of the UWB's high precision and extremely accurate localization capability. So it actually works at distances typically up to 20 meters used in applications such as a digital key. Now, that is a very exciting application, and we're going to explore a little bit more about that later. Um, but first, you may be asking yourself, how does ultra wideband technology actually work? Well, over to you, Jonathan. Well, OK, so remember how we're talking about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all this stuff. So let me just give you some numbers about ultra wideband and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So ultra wideband technology makes use of a very high bandwidth of 499.2 megahertz. Well, let's just round it up to 500, right? So 500 megahertz. Now, that's a lot because as we know, with Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi only uses about 20 to 160 megahertz of bandwidth. Or what about Bluetooth, right? That's something we also know. Bluetooth has as little as 80 megahertz. Now, we're talking about ultra-wideband, which has 500, right? So already the name ultra-wideband, it, it just makes sense. Its bandwidth is much wider than Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. But it's not just the numbers. There's a huge differentiator here. Other radio technologies, they split the available bandwidth into smaller chunks in favor of higher data rates or using multiple data channels at the same time, right? But UWB, it dedicates the entire available bandwidth to the transmission of very short radio wave pulses. Now, this is the thing. It's all about the pulses. So what do I mean by this? Okay, so the pulse duration of UWB of only two nanoseconds is only a fraction of the pulse durations being used for data transmission in other wireless radio applications like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So even with this ultra wideband technology with 500 megahertz, with a little bit of a pulse, you can get so much more done in that pulse than having a longer distance like Wi-Fi like wi and Bluetooth. So since radio waves propagate at the speed of light, keeping the pulse duration as short as possible, this is key to calculate the actual distance accurately. UWB radios can be used to almost instantly provide localization information, or they could even perform real-time live tracking of moving objects, I mean, without suffering the drawbacks of long latencies. Now, we all know that the whole thing of long latencies, right? When you try and hook your phone up to your Bluetooth's audio and it takes forever and then there's maybe a glitch. That's a long latency. You won't have that with UWB. 
But the question is, why is all of this localization stuff so important for me and my car? Well, Nikki, she's going to let you in on the secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yes, I am. Now, the big promise that UWB Tech holds for car owners is in this area of precision localization of car keys. Now, I mentioned it a little bit earlier when I mentioned the digital key. But basically, as cars become fitted with antennas, cars are actually then able to recognize other UWB equipped devices like, for example, that digital key. So the digital key could be installed on your phone in your pocket, but then your car can recognize it. So that means when you're getting a bit closer, it will automatically unlock, turn its lights on, probably even launch pre-configured personalization settings, which is just incredible. Um, and it just means you don't have to worry about, you know, fishing around for your car key anymore. Uh, usually that's me sort of scrambling around at the bottom of my handbag, which I hate doing. And um, so that's one of the applications <laughs> I'm particularly excited about. Exactly. And, you know, comparing this all to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, this is like light years beyond, right? So it's not just that connection. It's also, you know, all these other features as well with the key. Yeah, exactly. All right. So you're probably thinking, hey, this is great, Jonathan and Nikki, but like, how does this associate with BMW? Well, starting with the BMW iX and the new optional BMW Digital Key Plus, BMW drivers, they're going to be able to get their hands on a digital key equipped with ultra wideband for the very first time. Now, this is groundbreaking stuff. So when you're using the BMW Digital Key Plus, the BMW iX is going to greet you by turning on its lights when you approach the car. I mean, oh, that just that's just awesome to begin <laughs> with, right? Nice little hello. So good. Absolutely like, love hello. it. Love it. Welcome back. Let's drive. But not just that. It's going to unlock shortly before you reach the door handle so you don't have to, like, fish for your keys and all that stuff. And uh, without you even having to take your smartphone out of your pocket. This is... This is huge, right? <laughs> so good. Love it. Now, Absolutely this, love it. Exactly, right? So this sounds totally impressive, but how is this actually done? Well, the UWB technology, it's going to range. It's got this like really cool range around it with your phone, and it's going to automatically recognize the device's distance from the vehicle. Then it's going to initiate the desired actions that you want. And, you know, even more conveniently, because we couldn't get more convenience from this, now could we? You're going to be able to start your engine without you having to physically place your phone in the smartphone tray. Like, you can have your phone in the back seat. You can have the phone on the dash. You can have the phone wherever, right? This is huge. That's amazing because usually the keys are hiding <laughs> exactly. at the bottom of my handbag. <laughs> so everybody knows this struggle, right? So you simply enter the vehicle and its UWB chips will detect that you are a key holder located inside the car. And you just push start and then you're off. It doesn't get any easier than that. I mean, it really is just amazing. You know, <laughs> I still can't believe it sometimes that technology has moved on so far. Yeah. Our phone can now start up our car. <laughs> Like, that's just bonkers. <laughs> exactly. You know, what happened to the days where you actually needed a key then and you had to put it into the ignition? I mean, I know now you don't even need to put the key into the ignition, but to actually have your phone start your car, it's pretty bonkers. It's it's really quite special. Very exciting. It's, it's insane, right? I'm so used to having the jangly keys in your hands. Now it's just on your smartphone. And plus, while you're driving with UWB, the wireless charging tray can hold your smartphone if you decide to put your smartphone in the smartphone smartphone tray, of course, and you can have it charged. And if your smartphone runs low on battery, you can still unlock your BMW iX by holding your smartphone to the door handle using NFC technology. Now, this is, of course, depending upon your smartphone model, but this is actually doable. And that is just brilliant because I'm not going to lie, I'm quite bad at charging my phone. I am the one uh, who always leaves it to the last <laughs> minute to put my phone on charge, so it does end up running out of battery fairly frequently. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, I'm I'm also guilty as charged, Nikki. You know, sometimes I have my phone with me and I'm like, oh, I'll just charge it in the car. I'll charge it in the car. I have 1% left. And if your smartphone is the key, then you might get a panic attack. But not with UWB, right? This is totally cool. Okay, so it even works even when your phone has run out of battery. I mean, that's brilliant. Yeah, and um, 
thank you for giving us your your two cents on it as well. I mean, I I know for me another thing that that especially if you're going grocery shopping, if you have, if you're going to put something a lot of different things in your car, you know, the worst thing is your hands are full and then you got to look for the car key. So this is just yet another awesome feature of the UWB. One less thing to think about. Making our lives exactly. simpler. I think we all need a bit of that, don't we? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of Changing Lanes. Yes. And if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you subscribe to our podcast for future episodes. And to dive deeper into all things BMW, do head on over to bmw.com to learn more. I'm Jonathan Tilly. And I'm Nikki Shields. And this has been Changing Lanes. See you next time.